The Akamba people are part of the central Bantu linguistic group found in Kangundo, Kibwezi, Kitui, Machakos, Makueni, and Mwingi counties in southeastern Kenya. A large community of Akamba is also found near Mombasa and Kwale district of the coast province in Shimba Hills. Apart from Kenya, the Akamba are also found in Tanzania, Uganda, and in the South American country of Paraguay, where the Akamba Ku are well known for their intense, lively drumming and dancing, just like in Kenya. The Akamba are believed to have migrated from Mount Kilimanjaro. They inhabit the region of the Bone Hills also known as the place of buffalo in the Ukamba Islands. The path of whose migration into Kenya can also be traced with relative precision from the region of Mount Kilimanjaro across the border in Tanzania to their present homeland Ukambani. With an exception of just one small group called Mumoni, Oh, Kamba believe that the plains around Mount Kilimanjaro were the earliest known region of origin, but Mumoni claims the coast as the region of origin for themselves. The Kamba traditional creation stories holds that Mulungu or guy or God who created the universe also created the first Kamba man and woman and also placed them on top of Mount Nzaoui in the fertile Bone Hills. The Kamba are also known to be of the Bantu origin. They are closely related in language and culture to the Kikuyu, the Embu, the Bere, and the Meru, and to some extent relate closely to the Dinko and the Griyama of the Kenyan coast. Kambas are concentrated in the lower lands of southeast Kenya from the vicinity of Mount Kenya to the coast. The Kamba were also known for making and selling creative wood carvings and ornaments. They also sold medicine Medicinal products known to them as mitimini herbs obtained from different plant species. The Kamba were also hunters famed for their pursuit of elephant as well for their skills in arrows working and poison making. During the pre-colonial period, the Kamba were a long distance traders together with the Mijikenda and the Swahili people. They traded ivory, slaves, gum, copra, beads, honey, bee wax, and skin with the Arabs along the coast. They organized weekly caravan that traveled to the coast. During that time, they obtained goods like beads, iron, holes, cotton clothes, and red dyes. They also traded with the neighboring communities of Kikuyu, Embu, and the Maasai. Later, the Kamba adopted the agriculture way of growing food crops, like maize, millet, sorghum, and cassava. They were also known for making and selling creative wood carvings and ornaments. In the Kamba society, the family plays a central role in the community. Men would traditionally lead the family and engage in economic activities of the community. The women, on the other hand, would work on the piece of land so as to supply food to their families. Mothers had their role of raising children and 
taking care of their homes. And the grandparents helped in doing the less chores. They also did rope making and turning leather. The smallest political unit in the Akamba community was the homestead, which was also called Musi, whose authority was the father or male elders. Every homestead had a men's outdoor fireplace, also called Dome, where elders met and discussed serious issues. Several homestead made a village, also known as Utui, and each with its own council of elders, judges, and war leaders. And several villages made a district, also known as Kivalo which had a common ground for ceremonies, age grade transition and recruitment. The Kivalo also settled disputes between villages. The most senior elders were the religious leaders also known as Atumia Maidembo. They were involved in the activities of the community. 